Welcome back, gang. It's Delty from DeltiasGaming.com here with an update for you on the Templar class changes currently under testing public test server coming out in June. Finally got around to testing them, and I think the Templar, specifically tanking, is going to be absolutely incredible. So this is me just solo tanking veteran Sunspire, some of the initial ads in here to give you a sample of kind of what you're capable of doing. The purpose of this video is going to be giving you some information on what you can do if this goes live to prepare for this and get a Templar tank ready so you know exactly what the changes are, how they impact you, the mechanics behind it. Because I'm telling you right now, we're going to have to roll Delty as a tank. This thing is too fun, too interesting, and too powerful. So PvE or PvP, I'm going to give you a lot of information. Let's get to it. Okay, let's break down the Templar changes and I'm gonna start with the most impactful one. That's the Restoring Light Tree. And the reason I'm so survival is this Restoring Focus. So it's stamina based. Basically what they changed with this was, instead of standing in the room getting more armor, now you get health. Uh, you get healed every one second, which scales off of your max health. That's very important, this scaling. So you look at the tool tip, 2,679. Great, Deltia. Well, you probably have 80K health or something. Actually, no, I don't. I'm on my Templar tank build I just kind of threw together, and I'm at 42,000 health. So you can push that much, much further in both PvE or PvP. This is an utter game changer, the fact that we can just stand in a room, restore stamina, it costs nothing, the duration is long, and the, radi the radius is small. So even PvE or PvP, on a Stamplar, this would be really good. On a Templar tank, this would be good. Maybe even on a Magplar, I don't even know. So another thing to factor in is you get minor mending for standing in this. So increase your healing done by 8%. So even just when we put it down, you'll see the tooltip goes from 2600 to 2800. Awesome, awesome ability. And increases our uh, the damage you can block as well. The Templar has always been rewarded for quote unquote building your house, aka standing there and not really moving. And now more so, and I'm going to tell you some gear sets as well when we get to that. Another thing else that's interesting about the Templar tank, we have the max health scaling. So something else that has changed the Dawn's Wrath ability, Living Dark now scales off of spell damage or max health. Essentially this ability, you cast it on yourself, right? And so what I use this for is if I'm going to duel or something on my Magpar, um, it's quite useful because if a Nightblade just kind of opens up on me, it's not going to insta-burst kill me. But look at that magic cost, 4,000. So that's a bit much. Even when it scales off of max uh, health, yes, I can get nice a bit of healing, but my focus is so much uh, stronger and it costs 800 stamina. That's nothing in comparison. So I would highly recommend sticking with the focus, though in dueling on my Magpar, very, very nice ability. Another change here, they increase the um, Grab Crush synergy damage by 14%. I've used this quite a bit, uh, both Templar healing and tanking. I think it's a fantastic ability, basically for the major main. I love the major main component with this, so reducing the damage done. So I always drop this on top of a boss if we're gonna have a lot of pressure, especially if the tank is running heroic slash. So you're gonna get that major and minor main, plus the extra grab crush damage is just a nice benefit on top of that. And then another change here was Lumi Shards. Luminous Shards, one of my old school favorite abilities, still not what it used to be, but um, they changed it so this, this morph and synergy now restores full resources for the magic and stamina granted rather than half of the off stat granted. So very similar to what you would get. Um, but yeah, I wish it dropped block. Anyways, that's another story. So those are the relevant changes. Again, restoring focus, scaling off of max health pairs very well with something the Templar already has, which is Radiant Ward, also scales off of max health. This is a massive damage shield for six seconds. Costs a lot of magic, but the shield is strengthened by each enemy hit. So when I was taking a million of those mobs in that veteran trial, that's fine. The more mobs that are on me, <laughs> the more my shield's going to strengthen. So as long as I sit in my um, restoring focus and I cast a shield when my health gets low or when I want to do damage, I'm going to go heal back up to full just sitting in my room. This ability here is so much fun in PvE and PvP. I used to have this Bubble Trouble PvP build. We'll have to bring it back with Plague Doctor because it's just too fun jumping into Zergs doing tons of damage and being very survivable. 
So it's going to pair very well now that we have a heal that scales off of max health just by standing in it. Incredible. Something else a lot of people aren't running but absorb missile. It's another shield. Uses stamina and it, it scales off of max health. So on a Templar, you have two ways to cast a shield, one in Sword and Shield ability here, and then one, obviously, Radiant Ward. So what you can do is kind of pair that two resources together, have a really high magic and stamina, along with health resource pool, because you can kind of go back and forth. If your magic's low, you're going to cast this. If your stam's low, you're going to cast that. And so it's a really fun, active play style, instead of just, okay, my taunt's out, taunt... Oh, I'm holding block still. This is a lot of fun. No, 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 no. This, this is a lot of fun because you're constantly managing resources, buffs and debuffs, keeping yourself alive, putting the pressure on. A lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. So some gear sets that have changed in the tanking world that can be a lot of fun and with the Templar and others. Um, this set here, I can't even pronounce it. Exal Hills or something like that. But it's an utter game changer. I think it's going to be the tank meta going forward. Uh, basically, major force for 21 seconds, increasing critical damage done by 20%. With a 30 second cooldown for 12 folks. Well, if you don't know, Trials meta is essentially managing aggressive Warhorn between your tanks and healers. You're just kind of in well-coordinated groups going, okay, Warhorn first, I got second, third, fourth. You want to maintain that increased resource pool, but the crit damage done, that burst at the start of a boss fight. When you hear that, that Warhorn go off, it's that 10 second burst where you drop your ulties and you just skyrocket that damage. Now I can have one class, one character in a raid do this, both in PvE and PvP, freakishly powerful. Another reason this set pairs well with the Templar is our class kit has two very low cost ultimates, 71 with Empowering Sweep and Restoring Light, Remembrance, 118. So this set here runs very, very well with the Templar because we can get at least one ultimate ready to go in 30 seconds, essentially keeping a very, very high uptime. Now you can have maybe a healer run an offensive vault, or you can have another tank run an offensive vault or something. It might free up and keep that war horn time or the, the major force time almost near 100 if you're not there already. Great set, and it's going to pair very well with the Templar. Another new set, I don't even want to show you this, but I'm going to show you uh, gu gulags or whatever it's called. Oh boy, I didn't want to show you this. Yeah, it looks disgusting. So I think this is a new Imperial City set. Okay, while in combat, each second you, you stand still. Yes, you read that correctly. Stand still, grant a stack of Flesh Fortress up to 10 stacks, increasing your armor and crit resistance. I did use this, and I have to admit, it is freakishly powerful. Why Zoss is rewarding players for standing still, I have no idea. It's not a fun play style. But I guess if you want to sit inside of a keep and use your shields along with restoring focus and extended ritual and literally just have one bar where you're just standing still, not even blocking, and you literally could just do this. Okay, this is fun. I'm going to stand here. I'm going to hold block, or not even hold block, use my shield, my ritual, and my focus, and I'm basically going to be unkillable. I could see where this would be fun in a battleground, maybe, you know, Chaos Ball, and you're like this super tanky, just stationary thing, but I don't know about this set, and if it goes live, you're going to see people run it, and you're going to see people running Plague Doctor, having 80k health, and just standing still, and it's not going to be a whole lot of fun, but I got to be honest with you, it does pair well with the Magic Templar. Uh, excuse me, the Templar in general, so I'd have to bring it up to you. Those are just some updates to the Templar and kind of some gear sets, but I'm really looking forward to the Templar tank and playing Deltia, converting him. Uh, I've gotten to a Dunmer now, so he has a nice magic and stamina pool, and run, run, running something like this in both PvE and PvP, got to get that some uh, some powerful assault, uh, blockade of frost, get that set up going, and I can offer a lot of group utility. I can be very tanky, provide damage, and it's an active, fun play style. So I don't like all of the changes, especially this Gulag set or whatever. But overall, I think the Templar did get a pretty significant significant buff. A lot more tanky. And we'll see how what happens when it goes live. Thanks for watching.